Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Allah, Allah, you are my own. This is your brother Abdul Wahab Salim recording for the Daily Reminder. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ala inna awliya Indeed, the friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no fear shall be on them, nor shall they have any grief. After the first verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues now and explains who exactly are these friends of Allah by saying those who have believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and along with their belief, they also adapt piety and God consciousness. My friends, dear viewers, dear brothers, dear sisters, I invite you to look at this verse and think about the fact that a pious person that you see, if he truly is pious from the outside and from the inside, then this person has actually accomplished this title of being a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, Allah says, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Those who believe and do righteous deeds. Some of the scholars, they mentioned, pondering this verse, they said that the friendship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not just one degree and one grade. I.e. you have to cross you know, a certain rite of passage and now you have become a friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rather, they said, that the friendship of Allah Azza wa Jal is different degrees. So a certain person may have achieved a certain degree of the friendship of Allah Azza wa Jal. Yet another person will achieve a greater degree or a lesser degree, and so on and so forth. So every single person who believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he does righteous deeds, and he fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then this person is a friend of Allah of some degree. Subhanallah. Did you ever think about that? How beautiful is it that if you just adapt a belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you add to that belief some righteous deeds, some righteous actions, God fearingness, God consciousness, piety, then you have now accomplished a certain degree of friendship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A lot of us, we try, or some of us, we try to go and make friends with someone that's popular in society, someone that is popular in a certain community, someone that is of stature and status, someone who people listen to, someone who people talk to, someone who people look to. Some of us try to adapt friendships with those that have money so we can benefit from their money. This is Rabbul Alameen, the Lord of the universe. He is giving you the remedy of being able to adapt His very friendship. All you have to do is believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and along with that belief, you have to also do righteous deeds. Subhanallah. Dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to go and start believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with all due certainty. Look into the creation of Allah azza wa and believe in Him with all that certainty. And along with that belief, start doing those righteous deeds as well and you will now have adapted the friendship of your Lord. Can you imagine? You're not talking about a rich person who owns a certain portion of wealth. You're not talking about a popular person who's popular in a certain community. Some of the singers and rappers and stuff like that, if they go to another country, nobody even knows them there because nobody's heard that genre of music, though they're popular in their very community. This is your Lord. This is the Lord of everyone that ever lived. This is the most popular figure humanity's ever known. This is the most strongest, most capable, most rich of all. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want His friendship? start doing righteous deeds and start believing in Him. But I want to add to this point yet another point, and that is that if you do do this righteous deed, and if you do believe in Allah Azza wa Jal, which most Muslims do, most Muslims have some sort of good within them, so there is a certain level of friendship that they have attained of Allah Azza wa Jal, then beware of disdaining any other Muslim and looking down upon them. Beware of harming any believer because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gets really mad when you harm his friend. Look at this hadith where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is a hadith Qudsi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking upon the tongue of his messenger. مَنْ عَادَ لِي وَلِيًّا فَقَدْ آذَنْتُهُ بِالْحَرْبِ Whoever harms a believer, whoever harms a friend of mine, then I have now proclaimed war against this individual. Subhanallah, the war from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you really wish to get into war with Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't proclaim war for any other action with the exception of riba. 
For the person who takes usury and interest, it's not something small. Your tongue should never be the tool to victimize Muslims. Your tongue should never be the reason for the grief of other Muslims. Your arms, your hands should never be the reason to hurt another Muslim. Because if that Muslim has a portion of the wilaya, of the friendship of Allah Azza wa Jal, then you are not in trouble with that man itself. You're not in trouble with the law itself. You are in trouble now with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, And that is a trouble that I'm sure none of us want to get into. So from this point onwards, let's take our tongues and let's take the believers and never ever make them victim to any of our assaults. Be it from our tongues, be it from our hands, be it from our legs, be it from any means that we can assault other people. No, no, no. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the tawfiq to practice, to convey. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from his friends. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us help ourselves protect other Muslims from our tongues, our hands, our legs, our feet, our mind. وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. Donate now. Go to www.thedailyreminder.org/donate and stay updated by joining our network social links.